and welcome and happy Sunday. Good morning. Today. Sunday the 13th. <laughs> oh, is it? Ooh, do, 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 do. Is it the 13th? Yeah. Oh, Let's... no, it's not. No, it's not. Let's start, start that one again. again. Happy Sunday, everybody. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Hope you're good. Um, we're in a new place. It's one of the worst towns in England. One of. It's actually number 13 <laughs> out of 25. It's the 13th worst town in England. Yep. <laughs> Supposedly. We think it's going to be fantastic, don't we, We Mazzy? absolutely do. We're loving it already and we've not done it. <laughs> uh, where did we go yesterday? We went to Charlbury yesterday, didn't we? Charlbury. Charlbury in the Cotswolds, darling. <laughs> yes, we must apologise for the sound on yesterday's video, by the way. It was raining very heavily and I think yes. it, affected, it stopped the microphone from working. Yes. So I think it had gone over to the standard microphone on the camera or something. I don't know, but it's fixed now. Yeah, so although Cholbury was actually on the best list, mm -hmm. for us, personally, so far, it is totally... It shouldn't even be on the list. Def it shouldn't be in the top shouldn't be on the 200. List. And we were actually discussing this, wasn't we? Um, how can they make that fair? Who chooses? How do they choose and stuff? You can't just send one man to all the towns and judge it on his opinion, can you? No. You know, you need an array of people, you need families, you need couples, you need groups of lads, groups of girls, you know, you need different age groups. You need posh people, you need common people, you need drunks, yeah. you need every walk you need of old life people. You to need... go around every town and yeah. mark them out of a hundred or something. To make it kind of fair, mm. don't you? So how they've marked it, we don't know. No. Where are we, Mazzy? Don't tell me, don't tell me. We've got all day. Why don't I know? Can I butt in now? Yeah, butt in. Uh, we are in... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't know where we are, we don't know why we're here. We're in yeah. Abingdon. Abingdon in Abingdon, Oxfordshire. Abingdon, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, th 13... It says 18. No, ignore that, ignore that. Oh. It's not going well, let's start again. Hello and welcome. Good morning. Today we are in one of the worst towns in England. It is the 13th worst town. It is called Abingdon. In Oxford? Ox Oxford? Shire. 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 Oxfordshire. 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 <laughs> uh, we're in Abingdon. Um, <laughs> it's on the worst list, the 13th worst place to go, town to go in England. Why? We've no idea because first impressions, we love it. Yes. So come with us, let us take you around. Got some amazing facts about this place. Some very famous, cool people come from here. Uh, and Maz is going to show you all around the wonderful shops. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're in Abingdon. It's one of the worst towns in England. Come with us, let's have a good look round. Come on. So I suppose, first things first, where we parked. Well, we parked here. These two particular spots are um, dedicated just to motorhomes. Mm -hmm. You can spend up to three nights here, maximum. Yep. At the cost of how much? £4.70 per day. That's amazing, isn't it? Very good. I'm not sure where we are, but how can I explain where this is so anybody knows? Over the bridge. Over the bridge, right, okay. It's on, I think it's on park for night, so... Yep. Have a look on park for night and you'll find it. But wonderful park up. Just over here, you've got the river, haven't you? So yes. you can see all the geese and the swans and the boats. boats. It's lovely. <laughs> also, our first impression of this. Now, we're not going to lie. We actually popped into town yesterday, didn't we? We did. Uh, we had to nip to a shop and we had one little drink each. Um, so we have got our first opinions of this. We're not going to mention it yet. We're just going to show you around and see what you think of the place. Oh, I'll just tell them, Mazzy, we love it, we love it. We, love, we love it. it. I mean, how can you not love this? 13th on the worst towns in Britain. England. England, sorry. But no. No. We love it. Yeah, and we're going to show you why. We're on top of the bridge, so it might be a bit noisy. Down there is your river walk. Over there is your boat hire. And over there... It's a very special church, which I'll go into later. 
I've been doing a little bit of research, so I've got a few facts for you. Ooh. So I'll tell you them as we're going around. Um, <laughs> traffic isn't good here again. It's a very busy... It's a town. You get traffic in towns. It's not as bad as Stratford, but it's pretty, no. pretty bad for traffic. Um, just to also let you know, it is Sunday. It's probably going to be quieter. Things are going to probably be shut. So that does make a difference. It won't matter today, Mazzy. No. Uh, the nag's head, absolutely beautiful colours. I do like that. Yeah. And I was just going to say I love the uh, pub side, but you won't be able to see it now. Can't see it, no. Oh, yeah, we are yeah. actually on the Thames. Yeah, the River Thames. Yes, well, is this the River Thames? It is the River Thames. The funny thing is, Mazzy, let's cross here while we can. Oh, yeah, quick, quick. Um, <laughs> the funny thing Thank is, you. it used to be called Abingdon on Thames. Yeah, that's what I thought it was called. Is it not? And now it's just called Abingdon. Or oh. it's the other way around. It used to be called Abingdon and now it's Abingdon on Thames. I'm not sure which. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, going across like the second bridge now. Yeah, look at all the trees that have fell in the weather. Oh wow, yeah. Gosh, but they've got a lot of riverside um, restaurants and bars and That just looks amazing. lovely around the back of the nag's head. Yeah. Loads of seating there. Summer here would be perfect, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> now we're coming up to another pub. It's just here and it's called the broad face. I've got a story about that, Mazzy. Oh, have ya? Mm. Can I just add to that as well? Look how quick it took us to go from the van to town. Yeah, we're in town. <laughs> just starting <laughs> to go into town. for people like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say that on camera, Mazzy. <laughs> well, I was just asking, is it a market town or is it medieval market town? I don't know, is it? It is actually one of the oldest towns in the whole of England. Really? It is the oldest yeah. continuously lived in town in England. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Going right back to the year 675. Wow. Interesting fact, isn't it? Now, there is a few boards around. So we'll be reading them as we go around. I think there's like five of them telling you info on all the buildings around the signs. So we've got that to look forward to. But we're next to, Mazzy, the broad face. Oh yeah, yeah, what's your little um, interesting fact? Do you know why it's called the broad face? No. There's a car trying to come in, come over here. <laughs> it's called the broad face because when you're hung, yep. when someone hangs you, yeah. uh, your face swells up. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> I don't like it. And just over here is a jail, or was a jail. So they used to hang them there then, did they? They used to hang people at the jail. Yeah. And they would have swollen heads from being hung. So they called the local pub the Broad Face. Well, that was a bit too much detail for me. I especially love it. at this time in the morning. I love it. <laughs> so let's just get back to this uh, jail over here. It was built by the prisoners of the Napoleonic Wars in 1811. Oh, okay. So it was built by prisoners for themselves to live in it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Um, Slave labour there, innit? <laughs> according to a local legend, prior to its conversion in the 1970s, the jail was haunted by the ghost of an eight-year-old boy. Oh, OK. Who, after being convicted for arson in the 1800s, became the youngest person in the UK to be executed oh. by hanging. Oh, I don't like this. Let's so, find some happy stuff, can see, we? If you see any eight-year-old boys in this video, point them out to us, because it might be a ghost on the side of the broad face pub has actually got the story itself i'm just going to swoop down and you can read it for yourself well it's actually got a few stories of why it's called broad face but one of them is to do with the swollen face of yeah. a hung man let me just show you the pub sign look i don't know if you're going to see that properly everyone's got an uncle who looks like that haven't they you have <laughs> oh this looks nice we just come in the back of the um, Hotel. Crown and Bissell. Look at that look. It's a hotel, a pub and a restaurant. Looks nice. I'll have to show the front of the building in a minute. Very yeah, nice. very nice. I did just say to Dan, we're going to have to go up a lot of cooks and grannies. I, got, I just got this feeling there's a lot hidden here. And there we go, that's the front. It goes, It's all this pink building here. It doesn't look that grand on the outside, really. Just round the back. But it's like a little hidden treasure. Just having a look at the sign. 
medieval abbey gardens now there is an abbey or there was an abbey yeah. i don't know if there's an abbey anymore okay um and this would have been original of the entrance to it look at these look i've just spotted like these oh Some yeah nice detail on there very nice what is this john royal oh it was a free school apparently very nice kind of church over there yeah I think this was well it was this was the entrance to the Abbey yeah I watched another gentleman get over it because I want to show you something in a minute carry on sorry <laughs> I watched another gentleman's vlog yesterday I think it's called the bald explorer or something yeah and he's really good oh, and okay. it was explaining here like this is massive that's about 15 foot high and he was explaining you know, you've got the old things here that have been a big wooden door on here. And the monks would come in and go through this door or something. Yeah, it's very nice. Back to me? Back to you. Uh, uh, you've got a your cup though. Look at, check these gargoyle things out. You've got that and then you've got a pig next to it and yes. all this space there. Wonderful then. Oh, it's good, isn't it? They look quite modern though, don't you think, Mazzy? They look too clean. Not that gargoyle up in the corner there. No, that, well, yeah, he looks a bit older. I don't know if it's going to pick up on this camera. I'll try to zoom into some of them, but uh, yeah. really nice. So what was this, the Abbey Gate? Yeah, the Abbey Gate. Oh, okay. The Abbey Cinema. That's quite new, is that? Apparently there used to be four cinemas here. Oh, really? And there, then there wasn't any for some okay. reason. Gosh, some towns don't have any, I was just going to say. But uh, it has one now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just reading the signs because we really don't know where we're going, we're just I wandering to around. I find the Abbey Gardens and the outdoor pool. There's an outdoor pool. <laughs> okay, shall we start down there yeah, then? Yeah, let's go down there. So we're going a bit out of town. <coughs> yeah. Um, but <clears throat> we're coming back. We've got all day. Abbey Gardens. Let's have a look inside. So I don't know what this building is. Some lovely old photos on this one. Let's have a look. Queen Victoria. So we can't find the Abbey. Well, it's not here anymore. <laughs> That's why we can't find it. So this is the Abbey Gardens. There's a picture here of what it would have looked like the guessing um so it would have been directly in front of us here but yeah. nothing remains of it above ground be a nice place to metal detect you wouldn't be allowed to don't encourage that someone very important was here who william the conqueror okay. he came here for his easter Ooh, okay. <laughs> easter holiday at the abbey in 1084 somewhere in here is a Outdoor pool. Yeah, I wanted to see it. I'm not sure. We're not sure where it is. We can't find yeah. it. You've got a beautiful statue statue here of Queen Victoria. That's very nice. Read about it there. The only problem with Queen Victoria. She was a bit ugly, wasn't she? I knew you were going to say that. You know, there's statues of her everywhere. It's just a shame she wasn't a bit better looking. She's slimmer on that one though, isn't she? Right. Usually we've seen her quite, Only just. quite large. <laughs> She's still a big girl. <laughs> um, yeah, I always think it's lovely when a town has a garden area like this to go and walk the dogs. Or a nice park. Park, I mean, park. sorry, park, yeah. Have you noticed? Yeah. Now we've come further south. Yeah. Um, into the posher part of England. We're starting to say things like baths and parks. Baths? Well, that's the way I say it anyway. Baths and parks. Yeah, I say bath and path and park. Bath, bath and path. So we're getting quite posh now. I do feel like we're fitting in here in the oh, south I feel of England. At home. <laughs> so just outside Abbey Gardens, you've got this wonderful statue, Mazzy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check it out. It's one of them things you like the top of it and it. Gives out a lovely incense. Oh, 
Oh yeah, like an incense cone thing. Yeah. This is nice. Look. It is nice. We don't know where it's heading. We don't know what else is over there. There's a massive clock. I'm seeing lights and all sorts in the distance. It's a lovely there. place to walk, isn't it? Yeah. Abbey Meadow Outdoor Pool. Okay, I thought it was a free public thing. Because we see a lot of them up in Scotland, don't we? Well, it's either behind here. Oh, no photography in there, look. <laughs> well, that's because it's a pool, but it's going to oh, be closed. It, it won't be open at the moment. Oh, yeah, I see, with um, children and stuff. That's yeah, all right. That'll be lovely it? in summer. Yeah. Full of kids playing around. It is, it's nice here. It's just it got is. a wonderful feel about it. It has. Even the weather hasn't took them smiles off our no. that feeling. It and the weather has it. been really bad. Yes. Especially yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And it's due to be bad this afternoon, so. Right, I see a sign, oh, babe. I see a sign for a toilet, Mazzy, if you want the toilet. Okay, let's go here. Toilets, there we go. That's on my number one list. Make sure they have good facilities. Yes, Spot on. Yeah. So there used to be a mill here somewhere. This is. Uh, what are they calling this? Mill stream. Lovely picture of it there. Yeah. There, there it is in 1890. But this has grabbed us out. This is 1895. The old, the ladies actually skating along here. Yeah, it's so cute, That's isn't it? She's actually sitting down there. Look. Yeah, let's just bring our chairs and table with us. <laughs> Very nice. Look at all the debris here. Yeah. Mazzy just pointed out. I don't know if they've been sweeping it up or it's literally just fallen down like that. Hello, fella. What? Where are you surfing? No, it's just I've got a lo long list of famous people who come from here, Mazzy. Come from here? Okay. Go All for different it. things. There's going to be people I don't know. I'm not going to give you the full list. I'm just going to give you them now and again throughout the day. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. Yeah. Uh, someone very, very famous, Gerald Charles Dickens. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You love to cut that. No, I won't. <laughs> Gerald Charles Dickens. Is you that know? the Charles Dickens, like the book, the author? Well, it's not the author as such. It's his great, great grandson. Oh. He lives here. Oh, he's so this this fellow is young. I don't know how old he is, but he is. Charles Dickens' his great great grandson. Oh, okay. You wouldn't know what to get him for. You wouldn't get him a book for Christmas, would you? You wouldn't know which <laughs> book to get him. He's probably got some really good books. <laughs> There's some random archways here. It's obviously old. They're trying to keep the structure up, haven't they? It's just strange because they said there's nothing above ground from the actual abbey. So this isn't even part of the abbey. It's obviously an really outdoor. Got these walls along here aren't either. Well, it's part of the abbey grounds, but not the actual abbey. The house? The house itself? It's not part of the house itself, the yeah. abbey. Yeah. I can't leave it at one. I can't leave it at one. I'm too excited. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. I've got all these facts and I need to get them out. Can I tell you someone else famous from Go here? On, then. You'll like this one, Mazzy. Yeah. Paul Mayhew Archer, the comedy writer. Do you know what he wrote? No. He co wrote Vicar of Dibley. Oh, he lives here. He lives does here. He? So keep your eyes out for Paul. See if you can see Paul. What does he look like? I don't know what Paul. he looks like. Paul. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so we're underneath the arches now. There's a couple more gargoyles in here. That's a nice one. That's actually called the grotesque gargoyle. It's called the grotesque. Grotesque. Ah. I think so. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. St Nicholas Church. Yep. Uh, someone important, St Edmund, blah de blah. Him and his mud must have won a buried here. I don't know. Can't be bothered reading that one. Yeah, very nice. Ooh, yeah, it's Sunday, so there'll be services on at the moment. Uh, we're not going in that church anyway. That one isn't as spectacular as the other one, where we have to go in because it's special. Another board, St Nicholas Church, we're just down the side. St Edmund Mazzy. Now, is he my St Edmund? It will be. Town? Yeah, bury St Edmund. Right, so what is it saying? His mother is bought, bought buried here? I don't know, I, I didn't read it yeah, properly. But that's interesting to me because that, that comes from yeah. my hometown. I, I can't be bothered yeah. reading it all, I'll be completely honest with you, but there is some kind of connection 
Well, there's yeah. also a much better connection between Bury St Edmunds and yeah. Abingdon. What's that? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Well, firstly, it's got Abbey Gardens, yeah, it had an Abbey. Had, yeah. It's got a lot of similarities already. Yeah. But there used to be one of the biggest breweries in England here. Oh, okay. All right. Which brings us on to saying that we have Green King in Bury St Edmunds now, yeah? You do have Green King in Bury St Edmunds, yeah. Yeah. Now, Abingdon Brewery, which uh, used to make Old Speckled Hen. Yeah. Nice drink. Yeah. Not a bad drink, a bit warm for me, but it's a nice drink. Um, that was made here. But Green King from Bury St Edmunds came over here and said, here's £182 million, can we have your company? <laughs> so they gave them, they sold out, they sold out. You know what Green King did? What, pull it Shut in it, on... it down. Shut oh, it down really? and took it to Bury St Edmunds. I was going to say, that, that drink still exists. Yeah, it? it's still a very popular drink. Mm. And every pub in the town is actually Green King, practically, isn't it? Yeah, so, very St Edmunds. I don't know what your problem is with Green King. The beer's warm. <laughs> I prefer smooth. They don't do a smooth. So, yeah. Um, now, Old Speckled Hen. Yep. There's another story about the name Old Speckled Hen. Where did that come from? <coughs> um, it was the name <coughs> of an old MG car. Oh, okay. One of the first MG cars. Now here, there used to be an MG car manufacturer. Yeah. They used to make them here. Over 1.1 million MGs were made here. Wow. Did you know nice, that? Nice little car. It like shut that. down in 1980. Yeah, made cars here for over 51 years. Yeah. So Bury St Edmunds, Old Speckled End, I, I MG was cars. seeing a kind of connection going here, especially with the Abbey Gardens. I mean, I've never been to another town with a place called the Abbey Gardens, mm. so I did, yeah. And there is a lot of similarities. Yeah. Are we going? You haven't shown them this, look. I found this quite interesting. They found this behind wood panelling in this church here. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? A rare stone lantern. Yeah, I suppose there would be things to see in there. But that isn't the church we're wanting to see. There's a better church, Mazzy. Okay. I just want to see the town. <laughs> well, here it is. House shopping again. House shopping. <laughs> How much does it cost to live in Abingdon? It's quite um, expensive, isn't it? There ain't many in the window, to be fair. There's We've only six. six. <laughs> <laughs> and only actually, I think, uh, no, there's a couple in Abington. Well, I'd say that Abingdon. is the cheapest, three hundred and ten thousand pounds. That's going to be a flat, though. Yeah, for a flat. Um, then you've got four hundred and thirty thousand just for a standard house. This one, I feel, is it still in Abington? I feel that's. It's touched nice, on the expensive side, isn't it? I'd put that down as a £400,000 house, not a £600,000 yeah. house. And then you're looking at... Well, that's not here, it's in Arwell. I'm sure we'll find more. Keep our eyes peeled. Mm. So at the end of this trip, we need to decide where we're going to go and live. We can't live here, though, Mazzy. It's got to be Scotland. <laughs> you can't beat them prices, can you? We can't live here because it's one of the worst towns, apparently. Mm, apparently. Well, we're going to put it on the map, hopefully. I like, nice. I like how they've restored that look. Do you think it's been restored? Yes, it's too clean. Langford and Sons Corn and Coal Merchants. Oh, it's actually an Oxfam shop, second-hand shop. Very nice. Yeah. Across the road, we've found another place. That one's in Abingdon. Now it's only a flat, five old mayor's house. Two bedrooms. 235,000, which is a good price, considering when you look at the oak beams. Can you see the beams That's inside there? That's character, isn't it? I'd love to live in the annex, like the uh, attic like that. It looks lovely, doesn't it, inside? Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is... Oh, that's just a flat as well, isn't it? 5000 for a flat. Yeah. So this is more like your, your cheap end of houses oh, here over here. Now, this is just your average townhouse. Now, what, personally, this is expensive, isn't it? That is this is just the townhouse, isn't it? £665,000. But look at... I don't know if you can see the uh, dining table on the middle picture there. It does look big inside yeah i mean look how much that one sold which i'm guessing is just outside of wow. the town here um it's because i think we're, we are in oxfordshire though aren't we how do you pay to live in oxfordshire oh, I, i'd imagine so wouldn't you yes darling You've been to oxford it's not as posh as um what is that place we went to yesterday the cotswolds darling yeah <laughs> 
Abingdon Spice Authentic Indian Cuisine. It's very cheap, Mazzy. Is it? Very cheap. Like, I'd say your most expensive things are like £10. £8 to £11.50. Yeah, but yeah, you chef special, so that's actually cheap for that, well, isn't it? Is it is cheap. Very cheap. Yeah. Looks all right. It looks very nice. I think we need another fact. Someone else who were born here. Okay. Have you got any other facts or just people that live here? I've or... got a few facts as well, oh, I think. okay. So I've still got four famous people, Mazzy. Right, okay. So I'll get the two I'm not too bothered about out of the way yeah. first. We've got Kate Garraway. She was born here. I know that name. I do. She's a presenter off GMTV. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. lovely. Actually, isn't her husband in hospital with COVID? No idea. Somebody um, let me know. She's now He's the presenter of She's now the presenter of Daybreak, but she was born here. I'm sure that's Kate, yeah. And the other one, oh, this is still a cool one, Radiohead. The band, Radiohead. I don't know They it. formed here, uh, in the school. What do they sing? Oh. You don't even know it. You're acting like Radiohead, like I know who they are. <laughs> He's going to cut this bit out. He's now looking up a radio song. Now that's when you know, don't trust a man with a phone in his hands. Look, they're not my band, it's not well, someone I was out. into, but you they are out. very cool. You made out They're a big viewer. band. <laughs> creep. They did Creep. Sing it. <laughs> now he's going to get YouTube video up. <laughs> How can you not know Creep? I don't know, I possibly do if I listen to it. Creep by Radiohead. You know, right. that song it goes, And I wish I was special. You're so very special. You know it really well. You're reading and the I'm words a on creep. the phone. <laughs> and I'm a... <laughs> uh, oh, there's a swear word in that song, Mazzy. I'm not singing that. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? Could be starting a new video, a music video out for them. I don't belong here. I think that's probably a full vlog, Mazzy, so we'll, we'll continue this tomorrow yes. with the rest of us town tour. So please make sure you come back because I've still not told you the two most famous people, the coolest people who come from here. Yeah. See you all tomorrow. I want to know. Can't you tell us quick? Well, I'll be telling you within the next half hour, Mazzy. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. From the worst town in England? No, the 13th Britain. worst, 13th. apparently. Bye.